this before we start guys seriously i really want to know i really want to know why would you not pay 99 dollars to join but you're trading random stocks that you are losing money on and then you're asking me for help i'm giving you the keys for $99 to be able to talk to me every day, talk to Alex every day, talk to 20 moderators every day, talk to a group of great guys that understand. Watch our videos for $99 the first month. I mean, it's just ridiculous. But then you're willing to lose thousands of dollars and only when you go bankrupt, only when you join all these pump get rich quick rooms and lose all your money, you go, bow, can I get a discount? And I'll tell you, I'm not giving you any more discounts. If you tell me that you went broke, but you knew about MIC, I'm, I'm actually gonna raise the price for you. Because I am so sick and tired of us being the nice guys. The nice guys that are helping everybody for fucking free. Well, guess what, guys? I, I, am a, I, I work very hard, guys. I, I love charity, but, but you know what, man? I, I, why am I and Alex and MIC the only ones that are charitable? Why don't you ever complain about all the pump rooms that are charging $4,000 a month, a year, They're char and you're losing your money there, and you lost all your money in these pump rooms. Why don't you complain to them? Why don't you ask them for a free month? Why don't you ask them for a discount? What would they tell you? But for some reason, MIC is the only nice ones that reply to every DM that are actually giving discounts to people. After they blow up, after they go to other services and blow up. But you know what, man? I, I think I, we are, uh, I'm kind of tired of being a nice guy. Alex, what do you think, man? What do you think, Alex? Are you tired of being a nice guy? Uh, we, we are about to, I don't want to tell you this, but we're about to get rid of the monthly membership. I'm so sick of the monthly membership. Uh, this $99 is the last thing. I, I'm so sick of guys joining and then they're, they're only joining. After they lose four thousand dollars, five thousand dollars to these pump room services, why? Why am I the guy that's always fucking the charitable guy? You know, uh, we I I am seriously done, Alex. What do you think? I think we are getting we are getting rid of the monthly guys. I, Alex didn't want me to tell you this, but why am I losing hair, bro? Because of you, motherfuckers. Who's this guy? I'm gonna block this guy too, Sir Knock Sixteen. Why am I losing hair? I still got hair for an old man. All these stupid motherfuckers. Sir Knox. Who the hell is this Sir Knox guy? Bro. You know what? I, I am trying to help you guys. And you guys are being an idiot. Seriously. I mean, shit. I'm a fucking old man. Why Why are you poor? Why are you poor, Knox? <laughs> I still have hair. I can buy more hair. You, you see? It's just fucking crazy. These guys are crazy. I, the, the shit that I gotta fucking deal with, guys. I mean, fuck. I'm trying to help that. And this guy, Sir Knox, why are you losing hair? I'm losing hair because you dumb fuck, see? Yeah, I have... I mean, shit. I still got fucking hair. It's not fucking like I used to be. My dick is not as hard either, but it fucking works well. I got money to compensate for it, but, but you know... <laughs> whatever it may be. Man, this IG is just stupid, man. I, I gotta, Alex, there's this point where... I'm, we're here helping people and you know we have to deal with all these idiot losers and I I, I've um, I screenshot all these people so next time you see all these things I screenshot this shit and then uh, hey man we are normal human beings guys <laughs> you know I am a normal human being Alex is a normal human being I don't give a fuck I, I am I'm, a, I'm blessed enough to not give a fuck uh, how many CEOs can do this all day fuck you fuck you penis penis vagina you know I can do whatever the fuck I want to do. This is the beauty, guys, of, of, of learning to trade. I learned to trade. I don't need you motherfuckers. I don't need you, Sir Knox. I don't need any motherfucker. I need Alex because I love Alex. I need Tosh because I love Tosh. I love the mods, so I need them. I need them for different reasons. I don't need them to make money. I make my own money. I need them as friendship and all this because I am giving back to the world. Alex is giving back. This is why we are here every Tuesday, every Monday. You see where I fucking live. These other motherfuckers are fucking cryptic as shit. You'll never see them in public. They will get jumped. They will get jumped. You know, and then we are helping you guys. You guys are... <laughs> I even forgot what we do. So let me, let me start off like this, okay? Uh, Nancy, are you here? Uh, I'm, I, I'm going to cleanse it because I think I'm getting a little rowdy, but uh, I love this shit, man. Seriously, man. I live for Tuesday rants. You're going to see a rant after we've done one of this, guys. <laughs> so we raise your hand, Nancy. 
<laughs> Alex is, see, I need Alex. He puts me back. I forget what the fuck I'm doing. All, all I do is I'm like, oh, Jesus. Shit, I'm actually losing money now, fuckers. I want to close this up. I didn't even know I was in positions. Oh, shit. All right, Nancy, there you go. Girls I trade, view requests. Hey, Nancy. Hello. Sorry, sorry you had to hear all that stuff. <laughs> Can you hear me? Yeah, I hope you didn't hear all the all, all of my juvenile rats, but you know. <laughs> That's all okay. <laughs> Oh, wow, CRVS is just going crazy. Okay, hold on a second. Uh, <laughs> um, okay, so the reason I wanted Nancy to come on, I'm, I'm, are you sure you want to be part of this group, Nancy? You, you, you see, this is day trader, man. I, I'm telling you right now, this is not as bad as Wall Street. I, I, I know the guys in Wall Street. I lived in New York City for eight years. Those guys are bad. They, they I mean, when you're talking about guys with money, juveniles, <laughs> Like it, dude, all sorts of crazy stuff. I wouldn't fucking want to even mention it. You watch the movie A Wolf of Wall Street, it's exactly what it is. It's a fraternity house full of pigs. But you know what, man? If every guy wants to be a day trader because they think they're going to be the Wolf of Wall Street. Uh, every girl, I mean, the bad girls, not every girl, right? I mean, you are now the Wolf of Wall Street. <laughs> so, congratulations. Uh, I want to bring you on because. Uh, Man, we love you so much. Uh, all the effort you help MIC, we're we are we're making you a full blown moderator. You, you you probably already know that. The, you, you, I think you rose the, the, the quickest. Um, and you know what? Being a moderator, people. This is the thing I want to tell people, man. Being a moderator sucks. It's 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 only because you like to help people. Only you don't get fucking paid. It's just, oh, fuck it, this is not. You don't get rich off this shit. You 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 work for free basically. You work for free. It's is you you know this right? I mean, you spend so many hours helping members, watching videos, writing up summaries. This is not a profitable career at being a moderator. But what it will do is this: if you love this, you just spend time on it. You will learn for your own self. So that's the that's the best thing that I could give you. And I, I hope you take this position. Yeah, you don't have to. Um, I've had people turn this down. <laughs> I turned it down. I was in a room before MIC for eight years helping them. I never wanted to be a mod because I never want to reply to PMs. <laughs> I, I'm in shock. I, I just, I don't even know what to say. I, I mean, I'm humbled. I'm honored. I just do what I think is right in the community to help the new people that are coming in. And I never expected this. Never. And this is why. This is why we love you. Uh, this, this this position. I'm telling you, man. People think that they. I have. So, I have so many people in MIC that get pissed because they they think that they should deserve to be a mod. I'm like, why do you need to deserve? It, it's like if you deserve it, people will know and they you, they will become one. But the things they don't understand, they think that being some a mod gets them some special like money or secret plays. We don't do that. You know that. We have we we have a mod room, and all we do in the mod room is actually complain about how much work we have to do. Complain about how many people ask the same questions. How many people do not watch the videos? That's all we talk about. In other chat rooms, you want to be a mod because that's because they scam people. We'll talk about that after you get on. They have secret plays that they send to their secret mods, and then they load up on these plays and they push it out to their members. That's how it works. And everybody doesn't understand that. And that's why they think being a moderator is a powerful position because, they, because the moderators in other rooms are pumping their own plays. They would load up a play, a low float, then they would alert it. And since you're a moderator to thousands of people, people chase it, right? I was in those rooms. And this is why we created MIC to avoid those rooms. I, I love the fact that you're an educator yourself. Nancy, and you, you understand this. And so I wanted to dispel the myth that being a mod is going to make you rich. Learning how to trade will make you rich. Not pumping and dumping. Uh, I'm, I, I will get all into this. I'm going to create a podcast. I'm going to create a podcast with James and Harry to, to, to tell all the secret tricks. 
of the I, I am going to expose the industry. Maybe, <laughs> maybe not. I, I had to do it before they assassinate me. But uh, tell everybody who you are, Nancy, and all that good stuff. I'm so sorry about this rant, but uh, go go for it. The floor is yours. No worries. I'm Nancy. I <laughs> go with Girls Trade too in the uh, MIC chat room, and I really help uh, a lot of the new members that are coming in to get comfortable with the community because uh, it can be overwhelming when you first join, but with some guidance, it uh, does make it a little bit easier. And then you get to be, uh, you know, really see all of what is uh, offered to you there. And uh, that's really it. I've been here for, I guess I'm coming close to a year now and uh, loving it. And uh, the, the process that is taught to everybody in the room is invaluable. So, uh, you know, I was... When I joined, I was probably like many of the individuals who are skeptical of joining, thinking, all right, maybe I'll join for one month now, especially if we're going to get rid of the monthly, you know, thinking, oh, I'll join for one month. I'll go in there and I'll learn everything that uh, there is to learn. And it's just not possible. It is not a get rich quick room. There are hundreds and hundreds, if not thousands of video educational videos to watch and you just can't possibly do that in 30 days um, but i am so grateful to this day for um an uh, uh, mic member that introduced me to i mean that introduced me to come join because i never would have known about you otherwise and uh, it's been the best thing that's happened to me um, and you yourself are an educator that's 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 why and this is a perfect fit you, you love to help people you love to educate people and and that's what most of the um, the moderators are. They they're actually very patient individuals. I'm not patient anymore. After 20 years of doing this, I am <laughs> my patience is gone. And I, I'm glad that we have people like yourself, Nancy, to help out the community because we surely need it, man. We are growing, as you see. Um, how's your training coming along? I, I haven't seen you post trades, so. Uh, as you can notice, being a moderator is just not about being the best day trader in the world, making the most money. It's, it's just helping people get to where you are, you know? But how is your trade coming along? What are you trading? Are you, what styles or strategies? I am long biased. I actually, in my heart, I'm short biased, but I don't trade short. I trade long, pretty much uh, VWAP reclaims and uh, first bounce. And um, In these um, markets, that's been doing great, man. A lot of... Yeah zombie bounces and all that so definitely especially the last week or so it's been in the afternoon so i'm looking forward to this afternoon coming and so you so things are so since you started things are going well and you're yeah, on your I, own personal I'm, train. Consistent. I'm a consistent trader but i um i still am sh trading small size i have to get myself to start trading larger size but i'm still um trading you, small size. you know what it, it, it adds up quick even small size if, if you're not blowing up every week you, you it adds up very fast uh like i i always tell people me it's like 200 dollars a day it's fifty thousand a year that is that is great supplemental income for 90 percent of the people out there just 200 dollars a day i mean that 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 thing if the blueprint to a thousand dollars a day is 200 dollars a day if you can consistently do that you'll you'll you will know when you'll be more comfortable because you have to it's exponentially more difficult if you lose, you exponentially lose more. So you have to build your bankroll as well. You have to build your bankroll, get into, because a year, I mean, congratulations. You already, you already saw consistency in a year. That's amazing. Most people take three years. Most people actually never see consistency. So your pace is actually super. It's super rapid. That's because, you know what, man? You are very humble. You, you, you purposely, even though you have more money, trade small size on purpose to learn. And that's what I, I've been trying to tell everybody. We have we have a lot of members joining and they they are coming from the get rich rooms where they see those guys pumping out thirty, fifty thousand dollars a day, but they don't want to understand that that's all bullshit because those guys aren't really trading. Those guys are pumping and dumping. They are the first to buy low floats. That's why he only buys low floats. And you imagine you have two thousand people chasing. I mean how can you lose, right? Yeah. And so so those are the things, and, and Nancy was the originator of, of, of back testing our, our watch list. So thank you. <laughs> yeah. So tell us about the watch list, Nancy. How'd you do it? How you back test it? And tell everybody what is the watch list and all that. 
So every day, pretty much it's Alex and Tom uh, routinely put out their daily watch list. And I just started it in July, actually. Um, wanted to know how accurate it was. So I went through every single ticker that they posted and looked at the charts and made some determination as to a process that I was going to use to decide for myself as to whether or not I thought it worked or did not work. And everybody else may come up with their own process as to how they would determine that. But I made my process and uh, I went through every ticker and came up with those um, great statistics. Once I saw that their statistics were up in the 90s uh, consistently for the watch list. So if the stock makes it to the line that they have listed in their, in their um, watch list, mm -hmm. there's an over 90% uh, reliability that they're going to actually work. If it doesn't make it to the line, nothing's lost because they haven't lost any money. Uh, but if Correct. it makes it to that line, there's a 90% chance, chance that it's going to work for them. Thank you. I mean, that's, that's what we try to reiterate. You can use the watch list that reverse engineer to learn, which many people do, as well as, you know, we, I, I never want to use the word just copy, but, you know, a lot of people do copy and just make money, right? So, I mean, that's the best. To me, I don't want to alert anybody on place, but the watch lists are written before the market even opens. So uh, the, the problem that most traders have is FOMO. I can tell you exactly what to do. Even I myself have FOMO, and I may not make it to the line. I get too early, and that's how I lose. So if you work on your discipline, and that, that is how you are going to make it in this industry, as you know. Uh, the watch list itself, I mean, this is what Alex always talks about. Um, hold on a second. What am I reading? <laughs> Alex always talks about... Um, Alex always talks about if you join MIC and you fall on the watch list and you don't make your MIC membership, we will refund your money, which is true. I mean, how can you not make nine, nine or hundred bucks if you just use that watch list? You even put a hundred shares of, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's, it, the, 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 the point is we want to show you that our process works. It's the human operator that is the flawed. That's the reason why I lose. That's why the reason Alex loses. It's not because of the process. We know exactly what we have to do. Which is, but 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 human nature, greed, fear, whatever it may be, you know what I'm saying. And most of the time, it's greed, because after a while, this this is actually, it's not difficult at all, guys. The difficulty is having the discipline to not trade zombie hours, to to stop out when I need to stop out, <laughs> things like that. So. Um, thank you, Nancy. Any, any other questions? So, uh, Nancy is one of three female moderators. Faye is gone. She 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 created the Faye watch list. Uh, the so every so the females have actually done most of the work, <laughs> the good stuff. So that's why we like we, we we really needed your help. So thank you, Nancy. We appreciate. It. I'm 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 so glad that you have a tough skin where you can hear us joke about really obscene things which i try not to now you have delete powers you can start deleting even myself i am not immune to <laughs> i mean i'd be okay with you deleting sometimes we don't know we we are in this male fraternity you know society and, and so we make a lot of crude jokes which we obviously we do not mean but you know in a fraternity house sometimes this it's like you know we, we think we're funny but we're not funny so you know funny, so, funny. <laughs> so this is this is the community that we're trying to build uh, we are very different than other communities. Our community is not just uh, not just about making money. This is about human growth, friendship, relationships, and all that. And so that's why we, we are very careful who we pick. Uh, we want to pick humble people. I mean, I mean, I just want to say something like, like Alex. He doesn't pick, post his Lambos all the time. But then I get guys that are coming in that says, that are joining other communities. I don't post anything fancy either. I'm, I'm, I don't wear no fancy clothes. You know what I'm saying? We have, we have Ferraris, we have Lambos, we have big ass houses, things like that. But we don't post those things. And that's because that's the, that is the culture that we are trying to build at MIC, humility. Uh, I'm not here posting how much I make. You know, I mean, I, my, my, my biggest days are bigger than all those guys combined, you know, things like that. But, and, and, you know, like Alex up two point six million just trained the first hour this year. I mean, we don't we don't talk about it every day, but these guys are talking about it every day because they 
they need the sheep to make money. They need to have the rooms full of people. And then once Nancy gets off, I am going to expose them right now. <laughs> so thank you, Nancy. We'll see thank in the you room. So I appreciate much. everything. All right. And if I, if I act up, let me know. <laughs> <laughs> Will do. Take care. Thank you. I don't know how to hang up. <laughs> <laughs> me neither. Uh, you can just disconnect and then come back in, I guess. And guys, this is the thing, man. I, I hear a lot of guys, oh, they joined because of Giant PL, because people are showing Lambos. And I'm like, to be honest, man, we could grow our room really huge if we do, if we do uh, alerts and stuff, but we do not do the alert. Uh, because to be honest, I don't want those type of people. And so I don't want to be fucking two times as big. If that means sacrificing the culture, if that means sacrificing sacrificing our integrity you notice we will never sacrifice it here i'm here just saying f you to whoever because i am no one's bitch alex is me and alex cannot be bought trust me unless you, actually you got a billion dollars yeah i can be bought but i don't think you got a billion dollars right and even then it depends on what you what you want to make me do with a billion dollars right i'm not gonna hurt anybody if you, if you pay me billion dollars right so that's the thing i i am if i we Let's say we short a stock. I don't alert anybody that's short a stock. If you take a look at what we do, we actually post our charts after we are out of the play. Who the hell does that? It's a stupidity kind of shit. That's what I'm trying to break into my thing. Look at this. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> You're trying to break into my fucking fucking place, bro. <laughs> what the fucking shit? <laughs> what the fuck? Look at this guy. He didn't fucking ask me. What the fuck? He's using a stick to try and break into my... Oh, shit, and here they come. What the fuck's going on, man? Uh, they, I think this is a window washers, but should they be fucking telling me they're stepping into my fucking apartment? I'm going to have to talk to the about this. This is kind of fucked up, guys. Look at this. Holy shit. Like, what's going on, man? You're in my freaking apartment, guys. And I never fucking got a question. Holy shit, guys. This is fucking nuts. You see how nice we are? Seriously. I mean, this, this, this just shows me. I, I am so fucking nice to the management here. Oh, shit, man. I'm so nice to the fucking management here that they don't even ask me now that they're going to come into my fucking house without my permission. That is crazy, right, guys? And so, you know what? This So, it gets into this. Okay, guys. We we are who we are. We're nice people, but don't take advantage of us. Don't. So, so we don't do these gimmicks that other guys do. These gimmicks such as small account challenges. Why would you ever, ever trade with $500, $700? Even a guy that has $500 don't want to trade a small account. He's trying to grow that account to bigger, but he just has to. There's nobody that will make, honestly, without a chat room of sheep, grow an account from $500 to a million dollars. Because you know why? They don't lose. Because they are buying low float stocks first and then alerting you. And they have 2,000, 4,000, whatever the people on their stream. Why wouldn't that stock go up? So the moment that stock spikes up, they sell right away. They will never lose. They will never lose. That's how they're growing these small accounts up. It's artificial. It's fake. It's a scam because these feeds are delayed, guys. These feeds are delayed. They have a delay because YouTube delayed. They're, it's all delays. And so it doesn't matter if it's delayed. It doesn't have to be delayed. The fact that they're buying the low flow first and they're alerting it, the very first pop that comes up, they will sell. They sell the moment it goes up, but then it stalls. The moment it stalls, okay, they sell. It's a guaranteed win. They keep doing that over and over, and they grow the small account challenge. And so that's how they're doing it, guys. Okay? Do not be fucking scammed. Anybody that does a small account challenge is a scammer. Scammer. Why, why do you need to alert other people you're in a play? Uh, the members can never do that. The members will go broke doing this strategy. The strategy doesn't work. The stra this is a basically a pump and dump strategy, man. Uh, one day I'm going to work for the SEC. I'm telling you, you're all going to fucking prison, guys. You guys are all going to prison. But look at this, man. I'm just, 
I, I, I'm flustered today. These guys are freaking going into my fucking balcony. They didn't ask me permission one time. I'm, I, I'm going to bitch out this management. It's, it's fucked up, man. It, it, you know, man, we are two nice guys. Alex, you see this shit? I, I just don't know what to say, guys. I, I, I'm, I'm sick of this. Uh, don't ask us for discounts if you blow up other places. Um, you're watching this for a reason because you want to learn. But for some reason, you're getting attracted because of a giant ass PL or Lambo. And you guys are just dumb, guys. Seriously. Uh, if you, if anybody want to come on, I'm going to bring on one person for a short time. Then I'm going to hang up. Because uh, I want to talk to someone and whoever you want to go. Can I look at this motherfucker? Sir Knox. Come on, man. Mr. Tough Guy. Let's see who we are. Come on, motherfucker. Yeah, I have a bed on the floor. Why? Because your mama slept here last night. See, pussy little fucker. Go live with Sir Knox. I'm bringing on a troll, and the troll is too pussy to come on. But he's talking about how poor I am. Why do I have a bed on the floor? Yeah, I have a bed on the floor. Your girlfriend was here last night or some shit, right, guys? Look, you have a playable bed. <laughs> Why not? I'm poor. Come on, man, Sir Knox. Come on. Don't be a pussy, Mr. Tough Guy. Come on. Sir Knox 16, I keep inviting him. Come on, come on, before we block you, come on. Come and expose me. I'm bald and I sleep on the floor. <laughs> come on, come on. Come on, tough guy. Sir Knox declined. Sir Knox declined. Whoa, classic. Everyone, everybody, uh, see who he is. Take a photo of his fucking face. Fucking loser fuck. Hey, I'm going to give you one more chance, man. Maybe maybe you make me look stupid. Hey, you can come on. I'll give you free membership. Sorry, was in IU. <laughs> Guess who taught the guy in IU, motherfucker? See, this is the thing, man. These trolls are coming from other rooms because we are we are exposing everybody right now. Wait until you see the podcast. Uh, people didn't know the guy in IU used to be under Tim Sykes, too. Everyone's Tim Sykes. And Tim Sykes is my friend. <laughs> um... Pussy, man. This guy's a pussy. Hey, come on, Sir Knox. Now he's talking about IU. You didn't put IU down. See, man, you're getting yourself in trouble now, Knox. Come on, man. God, man. You see, you see what happens when you call it the bully? Fucking pussy. Decline again. Little pussy. See, little pussy. He's probably pissed off. He's going to find me. He's going to find where I live and get me. Do it, man. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. Seriously, I don't give a fuck. This is the highlight of my day, guys. <laughs> oh, shit. I'm stuck with up. This is the highlight of my day. Sir Knox is uh, logged off. Wow, he's scared, huh? Saying all this shit. Saying all this shit. Now he said he's in IU. Now he's trying to throw IU under the table. <laughs> so funny, guys. Anybody else want to come on? You see, guys? Now he's like Team Warrior Training. <laughs> he's trying to be really so funny. Everybody, everybody remember his name. Now he's talking about Team Warrior Training. <laughs> so fucking funny, guys. You see? You see the industry we are in? And this guy's a loser. This Sir Knox guy is a loser. He has every chance in the book to get help, but he uses this time because he just, he hates his life, dude. He hates his fucking life. People like that, they hate their life. And they, they get a kick off of trying to harass people, but then when the IG Live is over, they're gonna go back to their loser life. They're gonna be fucking wishing, wishing that we will help them. They, these are, this This is the making of a troll. They, he's, he probably lost a lot of money trading, he thinks he's because it's the it's the ego. It's the ego. And I'm pretty sure he's my secret fan. The fact that he follows me around and watches every single video that I do means that he's a fan. He's one of those stalkers that you know, like if you're in love with a girl, you try to harass her because you, you, you because you try to get her attention. And you know, it's kinda like 
you know, yeah, Mr. Sir, knock it off, right? <laughs> He's not, but um, I just want to use this opportunity to just to show you how pathetic these people are, guys. You don't have to be pathetic. Change your life. Change your fucking life. You know, it, it, it's, the ego is what's killing so many people out there, you know? Uh, if you just give up your ego and, and I would join MIC and smoke your penis thanks to IU. <laughs> nice getting IU involved. It's fucking funny, dude. So obviously he knows who I am. He's been following me for a long time. He's um, probably jerked off to a lot of my, my videos, I'm pretty sure. He might be even naked right now. You know, who knows? That's why we, Maybe that's why he can't get on because he's naked. You know, he's, he probably, he's probably, like, dude, he's probably a sex offender too. Who the fuck knows, man? You know, that's, that's the only thing. It's like, you know what, man? There are people out there all over the world that I, I reach and I touch and I help. But he's actually touching himself. But... <laughs> But uh, that's, that's enough of giving him attention. Let's make the bet. Let's make the bet. Yeah, you you ain't even pussy to come on. Here, here's another chance. Let's make a bet, guys. Here, come on to come on to right now, man. I just invited you to IG Live. He declined again, but he wants to make a bet. Oh, he wants to make a bet. <laughs> okay, enough giving him attention, guys. Uh, I am going to block him now. Uh, let me see. I'm going to block him. Actually, how do I block this motherfucker? There, I'm done. Yeah, I, I just I just blocked him. You know, I, I saved his screen name. Uh, everybody, if if is he private or not? Someone go check for me. <laughs> oh, too funny. But I just want to show you. This is the nature of the environment that we we live in, guys. Um, and this is why MIC is around. MIC is around because of this culture, this Wall Street bullshit culture. It's not even Wall Street. This it's it's the retail fuckers at home. That, that caused all this stuff. And you know what, man? You really want to beat people like that? Uh, he's talking about IU. He's talking about these other chat rooms. And it's like, obviously, he may represent them. Who the hell knows? It doesn't fucking matter. But the fact that they are coming to our feed and all we try to do is help people, you know, it's like, stay in your own lane. Oh, NNVC just opened up. Um, and it's tanking. So good for shorts. Um, anybody want to come on? Raise your hand, guys. I'm going to bring one person on. I'm going to end it on a positive note because it's been a pretty fun IG, man. <laughs> pretty fun IG. Uh, these are the things that I love to do, guys. I just love to just come on and just be a normal human being, man. What is this guy here? Who's it? Okay, we have a bunch of these guys. Uh, okay, I'm going to bring in uh, Jason Posey. Jason Posey. Mr. Hey guys, what's up, man? Tell everybody who you are. Hey, guys. I'm Jason Posey. Um, I've been brought on to MIC uh, basically through a sponsored video that I saw um, on Instagram, actually. Um, I've been on some of these pump and dump uh, scams that Bal's been talking about, but with MIC, I haven't seen any of that. I mean, everything's been very real. Between ba Bao and Alex, I mean, everybody's just genuine and real, and I love that about MIC. So I'm very new to, to um, everything. Uh, I used to work in an engineering background, but I left that for uh, film work in L.A., but um, the pandemic basically shut everything down. So I've been, you know, just working from home. So I've... Basically, um, what did you join? When? Uh, about a month ago. Um, okay, that's pretty new. So, where yeah, did you from? You, you scared to tell, or you don't have to? You don't. I'm sorry. <laughs> where, where, which other room did you come from that you said was a pump and dump room? I mean, I, I don't want to put names out there because <laughs> I don't want to, you know, be that guy. But um, be that there's guy only been a people, few. Bro. Be that guy and save people. Too many people are getting scammed, right? <laughs> This is your opinion, to be honest. You're, if nothing's going to happen to you, I will protect you. Seriously, this is our opinion. Everything we say is our opinion, obviously. So, you know, if you, if you, if you find they did something that you did not like, maybe share it. Maybe this is the, the time that other people are not going to get. You know, if, if MIC did something bad, I, I wouldn't mind listening either. So if we did something bad, you know, that's why we bring random people on. I've never, I don't even know who you are, right? <laughs> Jason, so. I was that guy that uh, offered you the Uber ride, like, what was that, 
two weeks ago when you were stranded at the airport or and the oh, Uber rates were like super high. Yeah. Oh shit! So you you found me? That's <laughs> looking funny. Dude. Oh yeah, you're you're the guy with the, the uh oh dude yeah. Which airport was that? This was the that was the uh, LAX, right? Oh, <laughs> so that's good. That's fucking funny, dude. I I, I even forgot. So I guess uh, I said something that that. Or, or did you know? Did you find out just that from me, or did you? It was a coincidence. I think it was just on your uh, stories that you. Um, I can't remember. You were. You were basically posting that you know the Uber rates were super high. It was like 150 bucks or something like that. Oh, it was Uber X was the same price as um, Platinum or whatever. Yeah, Black. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. yeah, that's what that was about. But I forget if you had it on your story. But anyway, but yeah. Um, it was a huge coincidence because I, I don't think I even told you what I did in the, when I was in the Uber ride. Did I? No. Yeah, so you just found me like, who the hell? I thought this guy that picked up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so but, that's pretty cool, man. You see, that's fate, man. So how how how's your trading been? I mean, you learned. I mean, the thing with thing with trading is this guy. Uh, you're not gonna get rich overnight. What you need to do is learn the strategies, and you, you you know the process works. The strategies work. It's just now just trying to apply it to your personality. Because a lot of times people get in way too early, or they don't cut their losses, things like that. So start with really small size. My advice. And just follow the process. Put in what we call fancy orders. That way you don't get FOMO. So if you want to get in at a certain price, I put a limit order out there. That way I don't have FOMO. Because if you don't have an order out there, you're always like finger on the trigger, right? <laughs> Trying to figure out when you're going to get in. So start with those good habits. And um, take advantage of the fact that 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 the moderators are there to help you. And that's just right. why we, we, kick, we pick very carefully who the moderators are. These moderators are, are answering the same DMs every day. This is a, this is a, it's a patient job and you have to be really into helping people. And so I come, I, after 20 years, like I said, man, my patience is super low. So I'm so glad that people like Nancy have joined. And so hopefully maybe one of the day you, you'll be a moderator, brother. Hey man, you never know, but Nancy's great. Love her. She's, she seems really sweet. So glad that she's a moderator. Congrats, Nancy. So that's awesome, man. You know, see how small the world is? is a big ass business. <laughs> he's an Uber driver. He's driving me, and then he, he didn't even know that. I didn't know <laughs> so, dude, it comes full circle, man. I don't know who you were. I just picked you randomly out of a group of people that, that raised their hand to be on this video. So, thanks, brother. Yeah, yeah man. I mean, I, I've been a member for a month now, and I'm grateful for everyone. I'm learning the process, and hopefully, I'll be doing well here soon. But, I mean, at this point, I'm just breaking even because I'm still very new. And I'm learning as I go. So breaking even at this stage is good, bro. <laughs> Most people lose all their money chasing yeah. when they join. So as you know. So all right, yep. thanks, thanks, man. Thanks. For all right, appreciate it, man. Thank you. Nice talking to you. All right, see ya. All right, all right, guys. I want to end this here. Tomorrow we have a new, we have a the public free webinar on Wednesday. Every Wednesday, Tosh does this, and I join him on on Wednesday. So tomorrow at two p.m., guys, we're gonna do it all again. I'm going to rent a lot more because I'm going to be on Zoom. And Zoom's a much better way to rent because this 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 is really difficult. So, um, look, Jason. People, they're, they're, all these guys, I'm, I'm screenshotting everywhere. Anywhere, anywhere. Who the hell is this guy? Fuck, Jason. Let me bring you on, man. I pussy, too. I didn't want to come on. Look at this guy. Anywhere, anywhere. So these are the guys I'm going to block when I, when I get off. Anybody has something else to say? Uh, I can bring you on, man. It's funny, man. It's like uh, people like Jason, they, they they come on, they show their face. You know, that's, they're not keyboard warriors. I can show my fucking face. And you have guys like this saying, fuck Jason. <laughs> but you know what, man? Jason's going to get farther in life than any of you, you scammers out here. So um, what else? Uh, anybody else? Go live. Here, I'm going to try one more time. Go live with this fuck Jason guy. Show us your bro. Oh, he declined. How did I know he declined? He declined. All oh, these tough guys declined. <laughs> Some guy said Jason Poser. So who? I would bring that guy on too. Come on, guys. Don't be scared. Come on, bring someone on. No one else. <laughs> Another fuck Jason guy. <laughs>
Rich Boraz, go go live. Come on, come on, man. Just come on. Just curse me out. <laughs> Join me. Show the world and curse me out. Come on. Ah, bunch of sissies, man. Seriously. <laughs> These are the guys with the fake accounts. Oh, well. All right, guys. I just want to show you, uh, you know, this is exactly the nature of the industry we're in. You have other guys jealous, other chat rooms jealous, whatever the hell it may be, guys. I'm, I'm just here to help you, educate you. I don't need to talk shit, but you do all the shit talking yourself. So, And NVC just killed and short trapped everybody. All right. Oh, I'm here. Here. Okay, I'm going. Here. Rich, come on, man. Come on. Come on, curse me out. I have to activate my microphone. Unable to join. Oh no. Now he's a tough guy. He comes he comes, he falls my feet. I I Oh, why What's you up? Me? Hold on, give me one second. Can you hear me? Yeah. Curse me out. What's why going you hit on? me? Why you hit me? Why, why, what? No, why would you say fuck Jason? <laughs> fuck Jason. Fuck everybody who talks shit about you, bro. I can't stand that shit, yo. Oh, Jason was a talking shit. Jason was the good guy. Jason was uh, the good guy. Hello? Oh, okay. So tell us who you are, brother. Thanks for coming on. Uh, my, name is Rishi. my name is Rishi Sinatha. I live in Toronto. Well, Oh, you're you're of uh, Toronto. I found Tim Sykes through Impact Theory. I went on a whole journey to get my mindset right. Uh, Impact Theory helped with that, and I found Tim there. And through Tim, I found everyone else. I found Lee. I found you. I found a bunch of other people. And you are the best. You're the most sincere. You're the most honest. You're the most straight up person, though. You're lessons and everything that I've learned from MIC has gotten me to the point where I am today. I made 19 trades today. And I did wow. pretty good. So, you do yeah, well man. today? I'm quiet. I, yeah, not bad, yo. Uh, learning the pre-market. So I am great with the open and the midday consolidation. So I'm learning to do pre-market because I'm only going long. Good, good. So I'm good. going long, learning. I'm learning to go long pre-market, but I can go long at the open. And I can go along for the midday consolidation, and I cut it off at two o'clock. What's your name in MIC? Ah, <laughs> uh, fuck. What is it? RS. It's a picture with Ben Affleck's right. Batman. <laughs> that looks like a man. <laughs> yo, Affleck is the best, yo. <laughs> Thanks, man. Yeah, you know, it's funny because I, I, it's funny. I thought you were a troll, but the fact nah. that you came on, bro, I was like, yo, man. I'm here, bro. Hey, RS, I'm trying to find your name. Oh, I messaged you on the, I was the guy who asked about the news halt earlier today. And you posted the thing with the NASDAQ, oh. NASDAQ website. Oh, that was cool, me. cool. That was me. Yeah, man, so, we have the best, I'm telling you, man, we, we, we have the best members, bro, because. 100%. I mean, this, this is why I don't need to be the biggest room. I just need to filter out all of the assholes. You do. Yes. And, and you know we don't pump anything. There's nobody spamming. Other chat rooms all spam all day long. I can't be in the chat and trade at the same time, so I go through it every um, when I'm done. And like the IG lives, like right now, I'm done for the day. Tuesdays, I cut it off, and I, so I can attend the IG lives. So like I'm done for the day. Usually, I cut it off at 2, but I'm done because I want to be on this. Well, Great, man. Dude, listen, you be on this. Dude, hit me up. And, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll see you back in the room. I think I'm going to end the, the thing now. We'll just end it on a positive note. I'm no glad problem, you're man. learning, brother. Tell, thank you for joining and telling me like it is. Thank you, guys, man. No, thank you. Thank, thank you. you. And thank all the mods because I've never reached out to any mod and have them not reply. So shout out to them motherfuckers too, yo. Seriously, right? I reply. I reply to everybody. So. <laughs> yeah, you do. Yeah. All right, thanks, all right, well, thank you, man. Yeah, man. Have a good day, yo. You too. All right, yeah. later. All right, guys. We'll see you back in the room. It's been a very interesting idea. I, don't know how to close it. I love it. I love it. I, love I don't it. know how to close it. I'm sorry. I'm just going to wait for you close it. All right. Have a good one, guys. <laughs> Later.